everybody. Welcome back to Art Time Today. I'm Cheryl Smith and I will be your art teacher for today's activity. We're going to be drawing birds. Little kind of cartoon looking birds, little fun little birds um, on your papers. You'll need white paper and markers or crayons to draw with. Today might be a fun day to have also some computer paper so you can practice and sketch a few, you know, do some quick drawings before you draw one to make a finished really nice piece. Even a sketchbook. I don't know if you have a sketchbook at home, but a little notebook with a spiral edge or some kind of sketchbook that you can use to practice drawing in sometimes is a lot of fun, especially when you get tired and you want something to do, you can go and just sketch and do some drawings. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this piece of artwork over here. This is a painting done by an artist named Henri Rousseau. He was a French painter that did many, many different kinds of artwork. The one that I really like, the ones that he did, he did a lot of jungles. This is one particular one that's one of my favorites because he has monkeys. He has some funny little monkeys in here eating oranges off the orange tree. Has nothing to do with birds, but it has a lot to do with the leaves and the branches and the things that we're going to be drawing today. So we'll refer back to this. We'll look at this when we're drawing our birds and their leaves and their branches that they might be hanging out on. So what you need, oh, let me show you this guy. This is a little bird that um, I purchased at an art festival. It is a sculpture made by an artist friend of mine. And she has made the bird shape out of clay and she has attached it to an old antique, old croquet ball and uh, made a fun little sculpture out of it. She's added a little feather on top and she's added some uh, little metal pieces on the sides for the wings. Uh, to make that show up. It's cool. It's just a different kind of sculpture. We're going to look at this kind of when we're getting the shape of our bird and the way our beak is and the way the head shape goes. So we'll use this as a little bit of uh, uh, resource to look at. So I have my piece of paper up here on the wall, on the art wall, and I am going to start, let's see, I think I'm going to do red today for the bird, and I'm going to make a bird on my page I want to kind of picture where it's going to go first. Do I want a teeny little bird down here? No, I think I want to fill my space with a big bird, mostly so you'll be able to see it. But I also want to leave enough room that I can add in some branches. So let's go ahead and start. The birds that we're going to make are going to look a little bit like this guy or this guy over here. They kind of look like cartoons. They don't look like for real birds that you would see flying around. They look like somebody drew it. And that's what I want it to look like. Kind of just a fun little bird. This one down here I did using crayons. And these I did with markers. So you can see the difference the way it might look. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the eye. And because the bird's sitting sideways to us, we're going to see only one eye. So I'm going to start not down low on my page and not way up high and not all the way to one side. I'm going to kind of go near the middle and I'm going to make a dot. I'm going to make a circle and fill it in with color. That's called a dot. Around that dot, I'm going to make a little circle that's very close to it. And that's the bird's eye. That's our little bird's eye. Next, we're going to work on the beak. The beak is made up of a few different lines, all little straight lines. And when we make it, we start out and make it look like there's an arrow pointing at the eye. So we start out with a straight line. And then pointing at the eye, we're going to make two little pieces of a line that makes it look like an arrow pointing right at the eye. To finish the beak, we're going to draw a little line from the long end of the arrow to the part that's sticking down and the part that's sticking up. It's our bird's beak. It's pretty cool, pretty easy to do. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and make the bird's head. Now, we're not going to draw a whole circle for his head. We're going to draw just from the beak around and stop. Don't start at the end by the eye and don't start way out front. You're going to start at the top of the mountain here. And we're going to draw a line that goes up over the eye and back down and stop. Just stop. It's going to end up in the middle of the air. Boop, stop. Next little line is a line that's underneath the beak, starting at the lowest part of the beak. It's a little straight line. That's like under his chin part. Next, we're going to draw the bird's back. And you can see on all these birds, their backs are fairly straight. This guy even, his back is fairly straight across. So that's what we're going to do. Take your marker or crayon or pencil, start at the line under the beak, and we're going to draw all the way across. I swooshed mine up just a little at the end. You can make it drip, uh, kind of curve down a little bit if you want. It doesn't matter. They're going to all be different. And then we'll make the belly part, the fat tummy part of the bird. Now, birds biggest part is down in their belly. So I'm going to come down, 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 down and back up and meet my top back line. So that's all met and beautiful. This bird, uh, let's go ahead and put his tail on there and then we're going to draw a branch. So out of this part that's in the back, I'm going to make a few little flattened out ovals for the bird's tail. If you notice this guy's tail, it kind of swoops up a little bit. It's all kind of just nice swoop up. You know what would happen if a bird did not have a tail? Can you imagine what would happen when he flew through the air if he didn't have a tail on? The tail helps him balance. So as he's flying, he can adjust his tail and that helps him know which way to go, high or low. If he had no tail, he'd do like this and do a nosedive right to the ground. So we want to put a nice tail on the back end of our bird. This guy's going to be standing up on a branch. So I'm going to draw um, some legs. I'm going to make two little short lines for one leg. And very close to that, two little short lines for the other leg. Bird's legs are like toothpicks. Look at this guy. Look at that. They're so skinny. It's hard to believe that that bird can stand and hold up his weight on those two little tiny toothpicks. Next time you're outside and you see birds, watch them hopping around on their little toothpick legs. It's pretty cool. Let's draw the little toes on here. Like this, you can see these little orange toes. They go out like this. One two, three, and I'm going to do the same over here. One, two, three. So I make some little toes on this guy. Next, we're going to do a branch. I'm going to cap and snap that marker up, and I'm going to grab a brown. And let's put a little branch on the branches from the bot come across. It's going to go right through his leg. So here we go come down, I make it a little bumpy, stop right at his little leg, jump through the middle, start on the other side, and make a line. It's a little bumpy, branches are bumpy. And here comes the next one. I'm gonna have the, pretend the big trees over here. So this is gonna be the thick side, and I'm gonna get it a little thinner, get to his toe, jump over, and I'm gonna keep going and get thinner and thinner and thinner on that end. So I might want to draw another big branch down here and it gets thinner and closer and closer together as it gets farther away from the tree. Here's another branch. It gets closer and closer together until it turns into one line as it gets farther and farther away. Mr. Fred, I have a question for you. What did I forget on this bird that this bird has and this bird has? And this bird has here. Can you tell what it is? I think I forgot to put the wings on the bird. Ooh, 
don't forget the wings. If that little bird didn't have any wings, all he could do was hop around. So, whew, I'm glad I remembered. I'd already jumped to making the tree part. So, if you want your bird flying, you can put wings up high on his back. This guy's standing on a branch. So, I'm going to just put some little wings right down there. It's like you make your U, 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 U. And then you can even go back and make a few more on there to make his little wings. Shoo! I am glad I didn't leave that out. That would have been, you guys would have had a half-drawn bird. So, back to the leaves on the tree. If you can see uh, Henri Rousseau's painting here, you can see that he has his tree and the branches that are sticking off. And he has the little leaves at the very tips of the branches. So what I'm going to do is on the tips of my little branches, I'm going to draw an oval shape. Now leaves come in every different size. So you can make your leaves any way you want to. But I'll do a little stick. And then I'll put the oval right on that stick. Because a leaf has a vein running down the middle of it. That's how that leaf gets its food from the little veins that run into the leaf. It's pretty cool. Science is very awesome. So you can make a lot of little leaves. You can color them in. If you're using crayons, you can blend colors. If you're using markers, you can still color it with different colors like I might want to add a little yellow, and I know you won't see this really well unless I fill it all in, and then you might see. Yellow just doesn't always show up. Do you think they can see that, Mr. Fred? Do you think that'll work out okay? I'm hoping it does. But you can add uh, a sunshine if you feel like it. The sun doesn't have to be in the corner of the page. When you're looking outside, you don't always see the sunshine in your picture. And the last thing I want to show you is drawing to make the branch look a little bit more realistic by adding some lines across the branch. It's like putting the texture on the tree limb, adding the rough part. And then when you go to color it in, you can color it with gray, or brown or black like a tree limb might be. So you can work on coloring it and making your bird all fancy. Even this little guy here, I'm gonna put a few little colors on him and we'll call it done. So I'm gonna make my little head partly pink and then you can color the rest of it in, color the wings any way you want to. So I hope you had a good time today learning how to draw our little birds on Art Time today. It's a, a little lesson that you can use and practice and practice. The more you draw it, the better you'll get because that's how art is. It's just like practicing the piano. You'll get better and better and better the more you practice. So practice drawing as well. Make sure you share these with your friends. Look for Art Time Today on Facebook and Art Time Today on Instagram art time today with a number two next to it. So until next time, remember always make time for art time today. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.